Have you ever wondered about the echoes of history that reverberate through the ancient city of Cordoba, Spain? Nestled in the southern region of Andalusia, Cordoba is a treasure trove of cultural heritage and architectural marvels. The city, once the capital of the Islamic Emirate and then a caliphate in the Middle Ages, is a testament to the confluence of cultures, where Roman, Visigoth, Islamic, Jewish and Christian histories intertwine. From the winding alleys of the Jewish quarter to the mesmerizing arches of the Mesquita Cathedral, Cordoba is a living museum, its streets whispering tales of the past. Recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Cordoba offers a unique glimpse into Spain's multifaceted history. Its rich tapestry of cultural influences paints a vibrant picture of unity and diversity, of art and architecture, of faith and tradition, of music and festivals. So, gear up, as we journey through time to explore the captivating chronicles of Cordoba's history. In the heart of Cordoba stands the iconic Mezquita Cathedral, a testament to the city's multicultural past. This architectural marvel is a tapestry of history, woven over centuries by the many hands that have shaped this city. The Mezquita Cathedral, also known as the Mosque Cathedral of Cordoba, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Its story begins in the 8th century when Abd al-Rahman I, an Umayyad prince, ordered the construction of a grand mosque on the site of a former Visigothic church. As the centuries rolled on the mosque was expanded by successive rulers, each leaving their unique imprint. The interior is a forest of columns, over 850 in total, made from jasper, onyx, marble and granite. These columns support a network of red and white horseshoe arches, creating a hypnotic rhythm of color and form. It's a captivating sight, reminiscent of a palm grove inspired by the Prophet Muhammad's house in Medina, creating a sense of peace and tranquility. Now, imagine the year 1236 when Cordoba was recaptured by Christian forces during the Reconquista. The mosque was consecrated as a cathedral, and over the following centuries, a stunning Renaissance cathedral nave was inserted into the heart of the mosque. This church within a mosque symbolizes the layers of history that define Cordoba. The contrast between the austere Islamic architecture and the opulent Christian elements highlights the fusion of cultures that characterizes this unique monument. The Mesquita Cathedral is not merely a place of worship, it's a symbol of the city's identity, a testament to the harmonious coexistence of different cultures. The mosque's Islamic roots and its Christian evolution tell a story of two worlds colliding, merging, and coexisting. It's a narrative that's written in stone in the very fabric of this extraordinary building. The Mesquita Cathedral, a symbol of cultural amalgamation, truly embodies the spirit of Cordoba. Winding through the narrow lanes of Cordoba, we stumble upon the historic Jewish Quarter. Nestled in the heart of Cordoba, the Jewish Quarter, also known as Judaria, is a testament to the city's rich and diverse past. This quaint quarter, with its narrow winding streets and whitewashed buildings, transports us back to a time when Jews, Christians and Muslims coexisted and thrived side by side. The Jewish community played a significant role in the evolution of Cordoba, contributing to its cultural, scientific and economic growth. This is evident from the landmarks that have stood the test of time, such as the synagogue. This small yet enchanting place of worship, one of the few original synagogues remaining in Spain, offers a glimpse into the Jewish life of the Middle Ages. It's a beacon of Cordoba's multicultural legacy, adorned with Hebrew inscriptions and Mudajar-style decorations. The quarter is also home to the Casa de Sepharad, the House of Sephardic Jews. A museum dedicated to preserving the memory of the Sephardic culture, it houses a collection of artifacts that narrates the story of a people whose influence has been woven into the fabric of Cordoba's history. Walking through the Jewish quarter is like leafing through the pages of a history book, each turn of a corner unveils another piece of the past. From the Zoko, a traditional market that harks back to the city's trading days, to the statue of Maimonides, a tribute to the renowned Jewish philosopher who was born in Cordoba, the Jewish Quarter is a treasure trove of historical marvels. But it's not just the past that makes the Jewish Quarter fascinating, it's also the vibrant present. The streets are alive with the bustle of daily life, with shops selling traditional crafts, tapas bars offering mouth-watering Andalusian cuisine and the melodious strumming of Spanish guitars filling the air. The Jewish Quarter with its rich history and charm adds another layer to Cordoba's multicultural identity. It's a living testament to the city's past, a vibrant part of its present and an integral piece of its future. 
Spanning the Guadalquivir River, the Roman bridge stands as a silent witness to Cordoba's vibrant history. Constructed during the reign of Augustus, this timeless structure has withstood the test of time, carrying countless feet across its worn stones over the centuries. Its 16 arches, a marvel of ancient engineering, have guided travelers, merchants and explorers into the heart of the city. Meanwhile, the Guadalquivir River, a life-giving artery of Cordoba, has played a vital role in the city's development. Its waters have nourished the lands, powered industries, and encouraged trade since antiquity. The river, much like the bridge, is a testament to Cordoba's enduring spirit, a spirit that flows with the current, yet remains deeply rooted in the city's rich past. Together, the Roman bridge and the Guadalquivir River form a picturesque tableau, a scene that beautifully captures the essence of Cordoba's past. The Roman Bridge and Guadalquivir River together paint a picturesque tableau of Cordoba's past. The Alcazar de los Reyes Cristianos, a royal fortress, holds the keys to Spain's tumultuous past. This imposing structure, with its colossal walls and beautiful gardens, has stood the test of time, witnessing the rise and fall of multiple civilizations. The Alcazar, which translates to the palace, was built by the Christian kings Ferdinand and Isabella in the 14th century, serving as one of the primary residences of the monarchs during the Reconquista period. The architectural style of the Alcazar is predominantly Gothic, with Roman and Moorish influences. Its three magnificent towers, the Tower of the Lions, the Tower of the Pigeons, and the Tower of the Inquisition, provide stunning panoramic views of Cordoba. However, it's not just the architecture that makes the Alcazar a must-visit. The historical significance of this fortress is profound. It was here that Christopher Columbus pleaded his case to Ferdinand and Isabella for the funding of his westward voyage that eventually led to the discovery of the New World. Apart from its role in global exploration, the Alcazar has also played host to a myriad of other historical events. It served as headquarters during the Spanish Inquisition and was later transformed into a prison. But the Alcazar isn't all stern walls and solemn history. Its expansive gardens adorned with fountains, ponds, and a variety of flora create a tranquil oasis that contrasts beautifully with the fortress's imposing facade. Here, one can find a sense of peace amidst the vibrant energy of Cordoba. The Alcazar de los Reyes Cristianos with its fascinating past and stunning architecture serves as a poignant reminder of Spain's rich and multi-layered history. Every stone, every archway, every garden path tells a tale, offering us a glimpse into the lives of those who walked these grounds centuries ago. The Alcazar de los Reyes Cristianos, a witness to power and change, stands as a remarkable monument in Cordoba's historical landscape. Lose yourself in the vibrant and colorful streets of Cordoba, where flowers bloom in abundance. Welcome to the enchanting world of Cordoba's famous patios, and the picturesque Caleja de las Flores, a narrow alleyway that unveils a visual treat of white walls adorned with vibrant flower pots. The patios of Cordoba are not just aesthetically pleasing spaces, they are the beating heart of the city's cultural life. In Cordoba, a city that basks in the warmth of the Andalusian sun, the patios offer a cool refuge. These charming courtyards tucked away behind heavy wooden doors are a delightful oasis brimming with flowers. A tradition that dates back to the Roman and Islamic periods, these patios are a testament to the city's architectural heritage. The residents of Cordoba take great pride in maintaining these patios, and their efforts culminate in the annual Festival de los Patios, where the most beautifully decorated patios are awarded. Now let's wander into the Caleja de las Flores, one of Cordoba's most photographed streets. This narrow alleyway located near the Mesquita is a spectacle of colors. The white walls are punctuated with blue pots filled with blooming geraniums, carnations, and azaleas. At the end of the alley, the bell tower of the Mezquita peeks out, creating a picture-perfect setting. The Caleja de las Flores and the patios are not merely about the visual delight they offer. They are a reflection of the Cordoban way of life, a life that finds joy in simple pleasures, that values community, and that cherishes beauty. The patios are spaces where neighbors gather to share stories where children play and where the elderly find comfort. They are spaces that foster a sense of togetherness. A walk through these floral lanes is a feast for the senses, capturing the essence of Cordoba's vibrant culture. The scent of jasmine in the air, the sight of cascading blooms against white walls, the sound of a bubbling fountain, each element weaves a sensory tapestry that is quintessentially Cordoban. So, next time you find yourself in Cordoba, take a moment to step into a patio or lose yourself in the Calleja de las Flores. 
you'll find yourself stepping into the soul of this historic Andalusian city. Cordoba, a city of celebration, comes alive with its traditional festivals. Each year the city is adorned in a kaleidoscope of colors and sounds for its two main festivals. First, there is the May Crosses Festival, or Cruces de Mayo, where the city's squares and courtyards burst into life with vibrant floral crosses. This festival is a true testament to Cordoba's love for flowers, with communities coming together to create stunning displays. Then, as May turns into June, the Cordoba Fair, or Feria de Cordoba, takes center stage. For a full week the city is filled with flamenco music, traditional dances, and a lively atmosphere that is simply infectious. The fairgrounds are a spectacle of color and light, with casetas or decorated tents, serving delicious food and drinks. It's a time when the city's rich traditions, music and dance take center stage. These festivals, steeped in tradition, bring the spirit of Cordoba to life. Step back in time and experience the tranquility of Cordoba's historic caliphal baths. Nestled in the heart of the city, these baths tell a fascinating tale of a bygone era. Constructed during the reign of the caliphs, they were a place for both physical and spiritual cleansing mirroring the Islamic tradition of purification before prayer. The architectural finesse of these baths is a testament to the advanced engineering skills of the period. With cold, tepid and hot rooms, the baths were a masterpiece of design and functionality. The star-shaped skylights in the ceiling designed for light and ventilation add to their unique character. Culturally, these baths played a significant role in Cordoba's social life. They were places of relaxation and conversation where people came to unwind, exchange news and conduct business. Today they stand as a silent reminder of the city's glorious past, a place where history seeps from every stone. The Caliphal Baths, a relic of Cordoba's past, offer a glimpse into the city's rich cultural heritage. Guarding the city's past are Cordoba's medieval gates and city walls. These relics of a bygone era tell tales of a time when Cordoba was a fortified city, a stronghold in the heart of Andalusia. Each gate and wall segment is a testament to the city's enduring history, standing tall against the ravages of time. The medieval gates in particular are an architectural marvel. They were the city's primary line of defense but also served as symbols of power and prestige. Each gate is unique, offering a blend of various architectural styles that reflect the diverse cultures that once called Cordoba home. As for the city walls, they are the silent sentinels of Cordoba's past. Once a formidable barrier they now stand as reminders of the city's resilience and strength. Each stone, each brick, echoes the stories of the people who lived within these walls. These formidable structures serve as a reminder of Cordoba's resilient spirit. The rhythm of Cordoba pulsates through its music, particularly the passionate art of flamenco. This fiery dance with its intricate footwork and expressive movements is a thrilling spectacle that captures the spirit of Andalusia. The music of flamenco, a blend of guitar melodies, profound singing and rhythmic handclaps, is not just a performance. It's a heartfelt expression of life, love and longing. In Cordoba, flamenco is not confined to the stage. It reverberates in the narrow alleys, echoes in the patios, and permeates the city's cultural fabric. There's a certain magic in the air when you hear the strumming of a Spanish guitar, or the soulful voice of a cantaores, a flamenco singer. Music venues from intimate tablaos to vibrant festivals offer visitors a chance to experience this traditional art form. Flamenco is more than just Cordoba's heartbeat, it's the city's soul, its voice, through music and dance, Cordoba sings a song of its vibrant culture and history. As we walk through the historic lanes of Cordoba, we can't help but marvel at the city's rich heritage. From the awe-inspiring Mesquita Cathedral, a testament to the city's multicultural past, to the charming narrow streets of the historic Jewish Quarter, Cordoba paints a vivid picture of its storied history. The Roman Bridge and Guadalquivir River stand as symbols of the city's resilience and strategic importance, while the Alcazar de los Reyes Cristianos showcases the architectural prowess of the city's former inhabitants. The vibrant Caleja de las Flores and patios adorned with beautiful flowers reflect the city's love for natural beauty and community. Cordoba's festivals, caliphal baths, medieval gates, city walls and music, particularly flamenco, further enrich its cultural tapestry. Each element gives us a glimpse into the past while still being a part of the city's present. Cordoba, a city where history lives in every corner, invites you to explore its timeless charm. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Cordoba's historic and cultural landscape. We've explored the mesmerizing Mesquita Cathedral, 
wandered through the winding streets of the Jewish quarter, crossed the ancient Roman bridge, and reveled in the city's vibrant music and festivals. From the stunning patios adorned with flowers to the Alcazar de los Reyes Cristianos, Cordoba truly is a chronicle of civilizations, a city where cultures have met, mingled, and left their indelible marks. Now we'd love to hear from you. Do you have a favorite spot in Cordoba, or perhaps a memory of this Andalusian jewel that you'd like to share? We invite you to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Your experiences and insights help make our community a richer place. And if you've enjoyed this exploration of Cordoba, why not share it with others? Every like, share, and subscription helps us bring you more captivating explorations of fascinating destinations around the world. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more captivating explorations of fascinating destinations around the world.